And after a hiatus, we have returned. This is Ted Hicks from Late Night Parents. Across from me is Rich Valdez. Rich? Teddy, Ted, what's going on? You know, it wasn't a full hiatus because we were still here virtually. That's true. That's and true. People got the best of us. Yeah, and, uh, a couple of weeks. Play, so. anyway, uh, nice. Big shout out to Brian Graves, who's controlling the boards. Our home station, 1240 AM WGBB. Thank you to our affiliates that play the show in archive format. Um, yeah, want a big shout out to the Underground who always supports us. Yep, four hundred five radio out in the West Coast that supports us. Uh, big shout out to who's that one station that I've always been one Cyber Station. Dot com. Cyberstation.com. Okay. Cyberstationusa.com. Okay. In Massachusetts. Okay. Never, ever give them a shout-out. They've been playing us for years. Really? Well, big shout-out to Cyberstation for listening to us. Thank you very much, and we apologize. We're not leaving you out. Oh, man, always. So we are back. Before we get into anything, we start screaming, no collusion. No, no exon- collusion. No exoneration. Nothing happened. No but, nothing. But we can't really say it. <laughs> no collusion, but we can't say no exoneration. Right. Um, I don't even know what that means. I don't even know. I, that's called punting. Yeah. That's called a yeah. punt. Um, But before we even get into that, if, you know, that might be the only honorable mention of the evening, since we've been away, I know you've been up to a few things. So what have you been up uh. during your two-week hiatus? Uh, I wasn't just my hi- my hiatus. You weren't here either, but that's okay. No, I, as you know, was was very busy, especially last week and and the weeks leading up to it. Um, we've mentioned it a couple of times, but my middle son, who lives out in Texas, what's up, Ryan? Hey, Martha. Uh, they are expecting our first grandchild, wow. Hi, Olivia. Yes, wait, gotta gotta get this recorded so that one day Olivia can hear her name on the radio. Exactly. Grandpa saying, Hi Olivia. <laughs> but uh yeah, so we had the um baby shower at our house last week. Okay. And like thirty, forty people at the house, some from Texas, some from out in our area, mostly from our area, but some from a few other locations. Just family and friends and cake and candy and food and playing pool, play, having drinks. A, a good old time was had by all. Was the theme princess-like? Yes, it was. Okay. The little princess, everything was pink, pink, white, and gold. Those okay. Those were the colors. Uh, I'll show you some of the pictures. There were backdrops with little princesses on the way. Gotcha. And tiaras and gold and sparkles. Uh, my wife did the whole thing. She organized the whole thing herself. You know, we say that should be her next calling, party planner. Middle name for baby Elizabeth? Olivia Isabel Valdez. Isabel. Isabel. Yes. Love it. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, yeah, we had a good time. Everyone says they had a good time. We think they did. So it was good. And, and Ryan specifically pulled me to the side and says, I forgive Mr. Teff for not being here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I said, he's got things going on. He's uh, often doing some things. What have you been up to? A um, little bit of everything. Did some work-related stuff. Was out. Orlando, Florida. Mm-hmm. Um, some leadership related stuff right. and learning about oh, uh, little cybersecurity and, and, and items that we should all be aware of and we should be looking out, you know, for in the future. Um, spent a few days out there. Um, you know me, whenever I go, whether it's near or far, uh-huh. chances are. I have either either spoken with someone or somehow had some type of interaction with someone. So I was able to get in contact with um, Danny Thompson nice. from AroundTheAssociation.com, who's been on the show on many yep, occasions. many occasions. What's up, Danny? And Hensy McCaleb from Barbershop Sports. Hensy has. Was able to catch up with them one evening. I made sure that the entire evenings, their glasses Remain filled. You have a habit of doing you that. Know, it's you know, you are just, known for doing that, just, Ted. We just had a great night. Um, the Magic were playing the Pelicans. Okay. Uh, 
a totally meaningless game right. for the Pelicans. Right. Um, it's so funny because the fans out in Orlando are so fickle. You know, they have some great um, soccer fans down there, mm-hmm. but the basketball team was up by 30 points and almost half the arena emptied right. by halftime. It was a given. They're like, eh, we got this. We got this. We're yeah, out of here. We don't need to stick around. And it, it, it's funny because, you know, some diehard fans would would be there. But you could just see people just, just filing out of there like, okay, on to the next thing. Right. And right. I'm like, tickets aren't cheap. No. Parking isn't cheap. But I got to tell you, it's, it's funny because when we drove down there and parking itself was $10. That's a bargain. That's a bargain. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. No Unbelievable. Take I'm notes, like, New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, spent some time with that. Hey, on Friday, got to shout out um, Lou High's own Zed Key. Happened to um, happened to visit the uh, Nassau Coliseum. Yeah. Okay. Long Island Nets. Yep. Playoff game. Elimination game. Well. The way the G League works is everything's an elimination game until the finals, okay. which is the best of two out of three. And it's so funny because of the things you put on Twitter, okay. you got to make sure you're telling the truth. Always. You know, so I put out there, hey, Uh-oh. I'm going to be at the game tonight. Let's go, you know, G League playoffs. Right. Hashtag, you know, let's go Nets. Right. And I get hit up immediately. Hey, I'm going to be at the game, too. I'd love to uh, connect with you. I'm like, okay. Okay, I'm like that. That's fine, but you know, all of that worked out. The Nets won that night, um, and other than that, just it's really been. Other than that, it was really quiet this weekend. And yeah. I, I, I always say, quietness, mm-hmm. calmness is always good. The calm before the storm. I know, <laughs> I know. Listen, I don't want to talk about no collusion. No. I don't want to waste any time on that. No, because, you know, I mean, do I, do I think we've heard the truth as much as will be told? I mean, we haven't heard anything yet, right? We haven't heard anything. But we haven't seen a report. It's 300 pages. Do I think the, the report in this is as honest as it can be? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, you know, I in, in part of me is like, you know what, if, if he was not able to established collusion between Trump and operatives of Russia. You know, part of me says, good. I, I'd rather that be the case than for it to have come out that, yeah, there was, you know, setups and he was trying to plan things and all that, because that's just dirty. That's just, you know, you, you, you don't want even a president like this guy to be that grimy. You know what I mean? Well, Rich, I just want to jump in there and say, please, I think there's been 37 indictments. Yeah, well, <laughs> there's <yeah>. been. <laughs> so he's, he got, a, got away with this one. But, yeah. or, or there wasn't anything on this one. But yeah, I'm just saying, when yeah. all the people around you have either been arrested, indicted. Or, or, or waiting to get. Or waiting to go to jail. Yeah. I agree with you. Totally. Mm. Totally. You dodged this bullet. But, I mean, this isn't a political show. No. You know? We'll talk politics. Yeah, but we do talk politics all the time. I mean, it's, it's just, uh, I don't know about you. I've had my fill of oh, yeah. CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News. I honestly, this has actually been a news, besides News 12, got okay. always shout out to News yes. 12. Yes. That's the optimum subscriber I am. Mm-hmm. And we always watch News 12. I think that's really the only news I've watched all weekend long. Okay. Just to be like, you know, again, relax. Don't need to hear the, the the noise, the background noise, and like you said, is this this team saying this? This team saying that? This no, don't need to hear it. Well, if anything important happens, I hear about it. Otherwise, I think sometimes you just have to step back. It's true. It's true. I, I'm just happy baseball is here because yep. that diverts my attention from cable news. Right. Because I was just like, okay, I've had enough. I've had enough of. All the contributors, all mm-hmm. the the talent, yep, yep, you know, rehashing stories from left to right, mm-hmm. putting their own spin on it. Everyone, you know, uh, uh, all the above. Um, this is uh, late night parents with Ted and Rich. Ways to follow the show? You go to late night parents dot com. Do want to give a big shout out to 
Devin Moore, Hello, who man. was on our show. Young man. Young man. He was featured on News 12. Was he? Yes, he was. Talking about um, Race to Speak. Race to Speak. Uh-huh. And, um, you know, just also his outreach. Very good. Picking up some some, some steam and, and, you know, just taking that negative situation and turning it positive. Good for you, Devin. Keep it up. Keep it up. Definitely keep it up. Um, Rich. Go ahead. Do we... I, go ahead. We, 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 and then we'll wrap up the, the political, politicized type conversation. Yeah. I know where you're going. Jesse? Jesse Smollett. I don't even know what to say about that. Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> that I don't is even know what to say. the response. I, I mean, we, I think we both said, you know, if when, as news was unfolding... Initially. If, initially. If you're going to go in on one side and when something else happens and allegedly it looks like they've twisted the story, you got to go in just as hard. Right. And it, initially it did look like they we're going to go in just as hard. And, and now no Nothing. charges. Nothing. Yeah. So possibly some community service was, was done for a couple hours somewhere, possibly something like that. All the charges dropped. Nothing happened. Done. That's it. So how do we go from 16 charges to nothing? To Now, I've spoken with a couple of attorneys, and they've mm-hmm. never heard of someone leaving their bond mm-hmm. while being allowed to walk. So that $10,000 is that, just... There you go. I, I give up my money. You can have it. You can have it. That's part of the deal. I'm confused. Give up the bond. Take the ten grand. The ten grand doesn't cover all those detectives that were putting in time on the nope. case. Sure, it doesn't, does it? I don't even think a hundred thousand dollars. Probably left. not. So, but that's not the purpose of bond anyway, right? You know, it's supposed to be so a person won't run it while they're being right. indicted or being well, well, you know, their their case is being heard for grand jury. I could see is good faith. If you're going to cut this side deal yep. with, um, I guess, what's her, U.S. attorney or attorney um, I don't need, yeah. box, yeah. Um, wouldn't you at least say, hey, come up with the bill that was, this is the bill of the overtime and everything else. Here you go. Well, can you even legitimately do that? I don't know because you don't you don't do that in any other case, right? That's just the job of the investigators to be there, and everyone else doesn't get, get to walk either. Right. That that's true. I, I, I'm not saying it's right, but you can't you can't really make the person pay if uh, you're just saying there's no charges. So initially, the, so really, I mean, they they could come back and say, well, the investigator after after further investigation, it has been determined that there is no need to bring up charges. And and that's that. The investigators did their job. Okay. Done. No charges. Forfeit the bond. Okay, fine. We'll take the ten grand. Thank you very much. And we'll donate that to whatever. We'll put it in whatever kitty, whatever slush fund. Okay. And you walk away and you still have no job. Right. Because this I don't care what happens on the legal side of things. Okay. This smudge is gonna be this mark is gonna be on him for a while. For quite a while. But I you're mean, right. Five years. I so, think I think even less. I think probably. the attention span is so short, Rich, that come after the election. Oh yeah, definitely <laughs> after the election. But yeah. I, I okay. he will be paid to tell his story by one of the news agencies. Whether You're it's probably right, Good Morning America, or this, someone's going to buck up it, so they can yeah. get his interview of, "Hey, I'm free, and this is what happened," and or. He continues to stick to the story that this is what happened, and that's part of the deal. Stick to your story. We'll let it. We'll just let this disappear, and we don't want to hear any more about it. So the one angle we have yet to, well, at least you and I have yet to talk about is, so in the initial comments that were made, with Mm -hmm. the you know the Clorox and this noose and and all of this, and everyone was outraged. This is mega country. This is mega country. So what do you say to that? That there should be more noise, honestly, for coming from the other side. So now you say you you accuse us of this, and we had nothing to do with it, and you slander us to put our name in it. 
this is MAGA country. I mean, and I, I know we're on we're on eggshells right, right now. Yeah, but, no, no. but but it's like okay, you got to do it com- if it's coming from one side. You got to be fair and come at it from the other side. It's true, because yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking. I don't know when when you hear this is MAGA country. Mm-hmm. I just think of. The guys with the red hats. Red ne- yes, you think red yeah, ne- guys with red hats and rednecks and right, extreme right wing. Right. These days don't even seem to be so extreme, but yeah, that's what you think. But flip it and just change MAGA to a word beginning with N. Right. <laughs> right. And, and it's a whole other story. It's oh, a whole totally. Ball game. Totally. So I think that it would be very fair to have that same amount of venom and fire coming from both sides, from either side, if. You're, if it seems like you put this out there, you make this accu- this accusation, and it's not true, just to to light up, you know, to get excitement and garner news. I, I I would just love to be a fly on the wall when that deal was when cut. that deal was cut, because you know there's a deal. When that deal was cut, it was just like okay, who was in the room? Who influenced this? Yeah, because I was I was talking with a few friends, and we threw up the idea of. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Since this was post, okay, you know, he's a Fox show. Okay. Huge ratings. Yes. His name, as toxic as, as it might be. Yes. This deal wasn't cut until after. Okay. This is this is X-Files music. You know, this is where. <laughs> I hear it in my head. If Brian had X-Files music going. He could play I, this. He, he could play this. But I would say, definitely, this was done post Disney takeover and that someone mm. from disney mm. came down from upon high and said shut this down and said shut this down and we're going to do interesting xyz amount of filming in chicago chicago well they already have the hot series right I right mean, i don't know how much of it is you know it looks like a lot of it is actually filmed in chicago it's, it's got to be something it's you know. got to be something bigger because when you have like the mayor or when you have the police chief and right. they're like, "Hey, what's going on here?" Right. It sounds like they were, you know, it went above their heads. Right. You might be onto something. It's I like don't we, know. You know, it's, there's it's just like fl- said, finally a glimmer of light coming out of Chicago, and, and then this happens. Theory. Shut it down. Make it go away. I mean, well, usually the only lights coming out of Chicago at nighttime was gunfire. Flashes of gunfire, uh, right. That's about it. I mean, Sorry, Chicago, we're not hating. No, but. it's the truth. <laughs> it's crazy out there. So you someone know? say, you might be onto something there. Someone said, I don't know. shut it down, make shut this down. go away. Make it go away. What do we need to do? Right. I, I mean, right, wrong, indifferent. But you know what? So let, let's just take it. From the, the uh, another side of the of the, another side of this coin, mm-hmm. what crimes may actually have been committed besides false accusation? And I'm not saying I think he should he should get away. I'm not saying that at all. But let's think about it. There was so there was no physical attack. No. Right. There's. I mean, he didn't slander anyone in particular. If you want to go there, he didn't say you know, Ted Hicks called me. And said mega country. No, no, it's just these two guys who he actually ends up knowing. So, no crime there. You got a false accusation. You you have. You probably don't really have that much, anyways. So you can say, you know what, make it go away. I guess. And I know guess. I'm not saying I agree with that. In no, 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 form, no. But, but uh, it it was that's something. That's all you got. That's all you got. And you that, got what the news made it. And the the news is not the court. The news is not the court, but what I'm, I guess what I'm going to say is, the news is just as wrong mm-hmm. with politicizing this yes. stuff and just. And this is why you get things up. like that happening. They ramp it up, mm-hmm. and you're just like, "What in the world is going on here?" Right. And I fully admit, when hearing it, it's like, "Nope, he's dead wrong." I still think he was dead wrong. Right. If it all came, if it all happened, it'll, and, and that, and they're not saying it didn't happen. It's just we're making it go away. We're making it go away, and we're hoping that everyone is looking at Twitter. Right, and we'll forget about it. And we'll forget like about said. it because they, their attention spans are so, yeah, so short. You're right. So we can say Jesse who in, in a year. I don't know. Remember that guy? Oh yeah, he's back in a new show. Come on. <laughs> 
I know one thing. I mean, and, and there's no way anyone can tell us that Empire hasn't benefited off of oh, this had publicity. To. Had to. Because it's like, oh, Empire, star of Empire. Right. Really? Just I never Smollett. watched that before. Well, let me check that out. I've Some never people. seen a single episode Ditto. of the show. Me either. And probably never will. I doubt I will either. <laughs> and I'm a fan of, of Taraje. Ditto. But that's it. Nope, sorry. I'm just like, uh, no, nah, no, thanks. Nope. I mean, and it gets big ratings. It gets huge ratings. I mean, you hear the first season was supposed to be the best one. Then they started bringing in more stars. And, yes. you know, that was. Yes. But again, I never watched it. I, I don't know. Watched. So they got to be up to what season four, season five, something like that. Yeah, you know. Eh, well, good for them. Congratulations, still good to see people supporting. Good Lee see Daniels, them. who's the executive producer, great job, mm-hmm. wonderful. Everyone's thinking about Empire. Maybe your syndication deal is going to go through the roof. Probably will, because I think hundred episodes in, you got a syndication deal, right? And so, then you don't and see now things that go differently. Then your your hands are kind of tied because now you got a syndication deal, but you got this guy holding your show. Right. But he's not a star. No, but he's, he's still a main character. He's, a, you know, he's not the lead character. That's true. He's still in there. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just a bad situation yep. that's gone even worse. Yep. We'll see where it goes. You know, I, I don't know. But um, this is late night parents with. Ted and Rich, and ways to follow the show is LateNightParents.com. Rich, the season finale of The Walking Dead. I am all caught up so I can actually have a conversation with you after all these years. I'm waiting for you to do this with Game of Thrones. Oh, man. Come on, you. Come on, Ted. We'll we'll stick with Walking Dead right now. That's rough. It's a a lot to watch. It's, but. It's not only a lot to watch. It's two different types of shows. Yeah, it's completely, meaning, completely meaning different. Yeah. Walking Dead is 42 minutes. Yeah. 44. Yeah. 50 on a, on a long extended episode. Sure. Right. No problem. Game of Thrones, it's an hour. Or more. The majority, once in a while, you get an hour and 15, hour right. and 10. Yes, I, I, I understand. Oh, man. But you have to catch up, Ted. And it's like <laughs> 70 episodes. I'm like. You got to catch up, Ted. Where in the world? Will you find the time? I told you how I did it the second time around in the gym. Yeah. On the treadmill. Yeah. Right about an hour. There you go. Oh, my goodness. And it's just, it sounds like it's a show you got to watch more than once. You got, you kind of do. Right. Because so many things happen in the first episodes, even, that there's a reference to it six seasons later. That's and crazy. you don't really realize it because you forgot about it. Then the second time you watch it, you're like, Oh, yeah, and wow, I forgot about that. And all kinds of little tiebacks and tie-ins. Mm. Real, Such a good show. going to hate for that to go away. Six episodes left, huh? For... Six episodes, hour and a half each. It's not bad. No, it's a way to go. It's Make one bad. out a movie. Each episode's going to be a movie, basically. I mean, I can only imagine the budget on each episode. Is it, what, is I haven't it like seen those 20 numbers. million? It's got to be something like that because the the effects that's t- you know for a TV show, right? Oh, the effects, top notch sets, well, it's decoration. HBO. It's HBO. Yeah, it's we got to go there. I mean, they've got the money, they've got the resources, they've got the studios. Um, you know, f- as far as production value and quality, there is nothing bad you can say about that show. That's true. I I kind of wonder with shows like HBO because. With them, you see quality and right. not really so much as in quantity. Very true. So it's like they'll give you a show, and it's going to be really, really good, and they're going to pour everything into it. For six, seven episodes. Right. Eight, eight episodes for a season. Right. But you get, in that one-year span, you'll get four shows like that. That's true. So it's a constant, you know, constant money being put out there, constant production. You know, the shows will be of completely different genres but you'll get that quality across the board all year long. It's true. It's like Sunday night, HBO, you mm-hmm. know you're you're going to get something quality. Right. You know, I can't say the same for HBO on a, on a Wednesday night or on no. a Thursday night. Who's looking? Not me. No. <laughs> you're, like you said, you're looking for that, that show, right. and you're like, okay, great. Here it is. You know, yep. knowing that Ballers, you'll get. Ballers, great show. 
10 true 30 minute episodes right i mean and if you compare it to tv t- the tv shows are only 41 right. 42 minutes that's right they forget, don't forget the commercials they got right. the commercial time and that's that half an hour show is 22 minutes 24 minutes it's true it's true so i'm all caught up with walking dead did okay. you see the last episode? Yes, I did. And, you know, I actually had wanted to catch it again, and maybe we'll get most of it after the show tonight because right. I'll be playing just beforehand. Okay. Um, no spoilers. No, nah, go ahead. No, no. This, I mean, it's coming out tonight. For those who may not have caught it yet. Uh, what the, tonight's the last episode. Right, tonight's the last episode. But, okay. But what went down in the previous episode. Yeah, the, the last Woo. 10 seconds of the show. It was, was kind of like, oh, okay. Finally, and this is a no no spoiler thing because I said it back then, and I and I posted it together with you. Mm-hmm. That's what they get for being sloppy. That's what they get for just sitting back and like, okay, we'll be friends with everyone. They, that kind of kind of pisses me off with that. It's like by now, after all these years, they right. would have learned. Right. If if things don't look right, cut it down. There's a reason. If things don't look right, they they definitely aren't. Oh my goodness, but. I will make some not so bold predictions. Go ahead, go ahead. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. So I've been watching all these um, spoiler related, you know, mm-hmm. shows making some type of prediction. Mm-hmm. Could there be a Rick Rhymes appearance tonight? No. 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 Not at all. Nope. I maybe, mean, the producers. Maybe not in the See, conventional way. It would have to be like a flashback kind of thing. See, the producers on, on Talking Dead, which you got to watch. Okay. I think it was Greg Nicotteri said, no, Rick Rimes will not be seen in Walking Dead again. Ever. Not in The Walking Dead. There's, gotcha. spin, there's a spinoff coming. Right. The he'll be in there. Okay. But in The Walking Dead, he says, nope. Okay. And remember, we saw him. Helicopter, gone, out of here, see you later. With, uh, what's her name? Jadis. Jadis, yes, thank you. So I don't think I don't think Rick Grimes has anything to do with it anymore. Hmm. All right. Now, Negan. Redemption. Probably. There's gonna. I think there's gonna be some sort of a Negan redemption. But redemption, as in, he becomes a member. No, no. I I, I can't see it going that far because no one would trust him. Right. But I think it's within him to save someone besides Judith. I, I I think it's safe to say if he saw something, saw something was about to happen to Judith, he's all in, and maybe right. that is how it goes. Okay, he's all in to save Judith, no problem. Um, anyone else? Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, Michonne as well. I think if if he saw something about to happen to Michonne, he he would do what he could to save her. There's a respect there. Okay, and that's what Negan's all about. Would you say there would ever be um, a reunion with Negan and Lucille? Mm, probably. I think so. I think just for the sake of the story, you know, and, and at that point, maybe it's it's a test for him to go dark side, light side kind of thing, mm-hmm. go back to the dark or, mm-hmm. you know, toss Lucille away and say, you know, that's his old life and, and that's it. Might be something like that. Like I could see them writing something like that into the story. Um, at some point, maybe even tonight. Who knows? Um, is it is it me or uh, Jeffrey Dean Stanton is is a pretty big actor, right? Yeah, he is. Like, is it me or do they sparingly use him? I think it's just the story. It's just this the is story. not the Negan story right now. You know, gotcha. he had those couple of episodes at the beginning with the breakout and set up the the, the relationships and everything, and then he's out. He's not in. You see him going head up with the whispers, whispers. Be, Sooner or later. It, it would be nice. I think that's what they're building us up to. Okay. Some way. Um, maybe between, um, what is it, Beta? Right. Beta and Negan go at it. Okay. It'd be nice to see. It'd be nice to see. We'll see who lives. If 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 anyone dies tonight. Beta and Negan are really two alphas. Two, uh, right. Right. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> <made it> funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Alpha Alpha. And then there's Alpha Alpha. You know, Alpha and Negan go at it, and the beta comes in, and who knows? Are you okay with Daryl being kind of like the new Rick? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I don't think Daryl's okay with being the new Rick. (laughs) I I, I totally agree with you. 
but I'm okay with it. Um, it it will be interesting to see to see just whatever happens tonight. This this could go so many ways. I mean, sure we've we've seen that they, the the country they're, they're, they're all trying to to, to merge again. Mm-hmm. Hilltop and uh, all the, the all the crew form as one against the whispers. Right. Oh, we got the the new guys as well. Uh, the the um the highwaymen. Right. So we've got one more crew watching the roads. Right. Look like they're good guys, but you never know. They could be guns for hire. That's true. You never know where that's going to go. Um, I go on going in the show. Can't wait. Tonight should be a good episode. Hey, have you started watching Billions? No. Dude. Heard it's a great show. It is. I was going to say, good show. Nah, it's a great show. Okay. It's a great show. And it comes on when? The same time as The Walking Dead. Oh, so I can start watching it next week. <laughs> it's a great, great, great show. I mean, oh my goodness. I mean, and once again, it's the same thing. Showtime, a premium mm-hmm. channel mm-hmm. that's going to produce it's got some money. That has some money, and it's going to produce maybe ten shows a year. Okay, right. You right. know, eight right. to well, each episode. I mean, each show gets about ten to twelve episodes. Okay. You know, and it's a it's a it's a really quality show, really quality show. Okay. And, um, I'll leave that there. So I, I do want to mention something I sent to you in a text message. Um, I sent to a group mm-hmm. because you know, I don't know if you use these these type of services, the food deli- food delivery services. <laughs> no, well, very rarely. Like at work, I'll use Grubhub. Okay, I've never used Grubhub, DoorDash. Never, never used DoorDash. And Uber def- Eats. Definitely never will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Uber. No, no. I've used Grubhub just a couple of times when the weather's been really that bad in the winter, and it's like, okay. I want the, my sushi. <laughs> really? Okay. Okay. So I've never used it. You've used it. Yes. Never. Not to say I would never use it. I've just just haven't. Right. Um, I mean, and it's floating around on the internet. Dude, know, that is just young family. Nasty. Let's cut cut to the chase. Cut to the chase. Dude, family so orders a uh, uh, a milkshake. Yeah. Yep. And the guy is at the door, sipping on the kid's milkshake. Yep. And then hands it over to to the child. And if they didn't look at their door cam, they would never know. They would have never known. Little kid, and he was enjoying his Cold Stone milkshake. <laughs> I mean, why should we be surprised about this, though? I mean, really. Oh, goodness. And this is not to disparage the delivery personnel anywhere, because, I mean, that's a no. thankless job, really. And you're getting called to run out in the worst weather, yes. usually. But come on. I mean, dude, that, that's just nasty. It's just... So I, I haven't even heard. I mean, I have to assume that you know once DoorDash saw this, that the, the the young man was terminated. You have to hope. Oh my goodness! And that you know that family will now get free delivery of Cold Stone Creamery for for life. <laughs> and it's not Cold Stone's fault at all. It's not Cold Stone's fault. Form. It's not. It's what we always talk about when we talk about tech, and we always talk about um, cyber attacks and hacks. And it's always that third party. There's nothing cyber here. No, 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 no. But we always oh, the talk third about party. the third party. The, the weak link. Yes. Yeah, it's always the it weak was. link. That's what it was. The guy and bringing it up the steps. So the family, mm-hmm. the dad, decides to get in contact with DoorDash. Good for him. He sends them an email, yeah. attaches the video. Nice. It's been two weeks. He still hasn't heard back from them. Oh, really? Yeah. That's how that went down? That's how it went down. Two weeks. So then he decided to go to the media. Good dad. And says, here you go. Here's the video. And here's what I've tried. And I've heard nothing. And you see the <laughs> the guy standing there at the door takes a sip of the milkshake. I've seen. And then hands, and hands it, it in. Hands it off. Like just before the door opens. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's horrible. You know, though. I'd like to be a, a fly on the wall in that executive's office from DoorDash right. the first time he saw it. Yes. 
Well, it's no different than... Um, or she. Or she. But it's no different than um, any time either we've seen um, on the internet, you know, through through the media, mm-hmm. where, I mean, I, I look at my own um, door cam, and I, you can see the mail carrier walking up there, yep. taking the box, flinging Oosh. it in the air, <laughs> ringing the Flame doorbell. Frisbee. While, while he's on his cell phone. Yeah. yeah. You know, while drinking a latte. Well, <laughs> I'm like, what is going on here? At least he didn't open it. I mean, we, That you know of. That's true. We've seen times, I mean, I, I know I've seen, I, I think I've shared with you. Uh, I think it was a year ago or two years ago, they showed a mail, they were a mail carrier. Yeah. I'm not sure if they were working for Amazon or FedEx. Right. Decided to urinate right in front of someone's house. See. Yeah. There you go. Clip. There you go. UPS president. Here you go. This is your people. What did you say to stuff like that? I mean, at some point, like I said, we're not blaming Cold Stone. No, this, not at all. Just they they're just they're, they're a victim here. Right. On 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 DoorDash. Mm-hmm. Like shouldn't there have been a quick response? You would think so, especially these days. Yes. I mean, I know I've had much smaller issues with with vendors and quick little post on, on Twitter. That's it. That's all it takes. Within half an hour, there's a response. Whoop. What happened? We're so sorry to hear about this. Yep. What can we do to make it right? Blah, 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 okay. blah. Okay. Fine. You can have the product for free. <laughs> Just take down that post, please. <laughs> <laughs> Not even that bad. But this... And and he, and he did the right thing. He didn't go to the media first. No. Did the right tried thing. Tried to contact him and was ignored. It's just, that's gross. That's just gross. It is. I... Uh, I would have no faith in services like that. No, definitely not. I mean, that's like you, you ordering from, from Domino's or wherever, mm-hmm. you know, your favorite pizza place is. Mm-hmm. And you open it up and there's a slice. There's a slice. There's, there's a couple of big empty spaces where the pepperoni used to be. <laughs> but think about it, you know, going back to this guy. I, I know my wife. If someone handed one of our younger children a, a shake with a straw that was opened. That was opened. And she's going to be like, no. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You it's, take it's this the back. cover and, uh, yep. Where is and, that? And there's shake dripping down the inside of the straw. Yes. <laughs> And, you know, family who, who had to go through this, we are not laughing at you in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, it's terrible. Don't don't misunderstand our, our, our humor here. Um, you know, it's ridiculous that you had to go through what you went through. Totally. Rich, I'm glad you cleaned that up. Oh, well, yeah, I had to think about it. <laughs> I'm glad you cleaned that because up. Because here we are laughing. And, you know, at least no one got no one got hurt that we no, know no of. No one got and, hurt, and we're not laughing at them. Right, not at all. We're laughing with them. Yeah. It's like, I don't believe this happened. I... I I don't. I'm like, hmm. Um, this is Late Night Parents. Ways to follow the show, latenightparents.com. Um, Rich, the Apple event that happened this past week. Did you watch it? Nope. Did and you nope, watch one second I watched of it? some of it. It was um, an hour and 49 minutes of all, just... All I saw of it was from the news clips regarding it. Okay. So I saw Oprah on stage for maybe five seconds. And I said, why is Oprah on stage at an Apple event to myself? It was an hour and 49 minutes. It was the most Hollywood type event right. that I've ever seen Apple try to pull off. And, okay, you said try to pull off. So did they pull it off successfully? I thought it was decent. I mean, if I had went out there. Mm-hmm. It would have been better because they would have had Ted. <laughs> no, 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 no. But if I had traveled all the way out right, there right. to sit there in Steve Jobs Theater, right. I probably would have been upset. Okay, fair enough. Um, man, I forgot the, the dad who hit me up. It was a dad who who hit me up who was actually there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think I saw that post, too. Guy from Life of Dads? Yeah, uh, Life crazy. of Dads. And there was another one, another gentleman. I, I, his, his name escapes me right now, but he was there, and he was just like, thumbs down. Right. But, um, you know, I see the TV shows that they're, mm-hmm. they're trying to pull off and, and you know, the service and the, the, the Apple.
local news and yada 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 and all this other stuff and i gotta tell you Mm -hmm. the whole culmination of the show was but wait there's one more thing you know we have was that before they showed the card (laughs) or was the card that item no 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 that wonderful yes um that moment that piece it, it was the oprah no. When they had the music playing. I missed it. <laughs> and you saw the words. So basically you saw her speech right. before she gave the speech. And she's just standing there. And you could just see all the like the, the, the Apple cronies just out there. just. Why? Tell me why. Why was Oprah there? Um, Star power. Um, she's putting together like two documentaries for you, them. You know what all this is, right? Money? This is all more the weakness of Apple post Steve Jobs. Oh, totally. That's all this is. They spent a billion dollars on TV shows, and not even TV shows, just names. But the one thing I do want to mention is Steven Spielberg was Mm -hmm. there. Okay. He's rebooting Amazing Stories. Yes, yeah. Great show from the 80s. Okay. That was entertaining. 1986, Rich. Mm -hmm. 33 years ago, Rich. Doesn't seem like that long ago, but it was thirty-three years ago. Rich, amazing stories, fun show. Amazing stories isn't new. It's not. It's not innovative. Is anything coming out of Apple innovative these days? Never. Let's be real. Let's, so it let's makes call sense. It what it is. What so makes, it makes sense? sense. <laughs> it totally makes sense. I mean, I'm trying to. So, what made Apple decide that they want to get into the credit card business? I that think... seems like a whole lot of liability that you don't need. I mean. I think they just have so much money to spend, and they just don't know what to do with throw, themselves. Let's throw, let's throw, throw it dollars everywhere. Because I guess they look at companies like Apple, Google, and Microsoft, and how they have tentacles everywhere. Right. But, you There's know, a difference, though. iCloud will never be Azure nope. or, or AWS. Nope. Okay? Nope. Absolutely it won't even not. be Google Cloud. Right. So... F- you look at it from that perspective. Um, I don't know. It was, I don't want to say it was a hodgepodge of just right. silliness, but I'm still sitting here and saying, so tell me, the Wall Street Journal, mm-hmm. the subscription for the Wall Street Journal <laughs> right. is $37. Um, tell me, how do I have my Wall Street Journal mm-hmm. subscription while having all these other magazines mm-hmm. for nine ninety nine a month, it's like it just doesn't make that sense doesn't to make me. Sense. So is Apple just going to say, okay, as many subscribers as we um, had with the service, right. we're just going to eat the cost? It's got to be something like that. I don't know. And hope they know. get, you know, they get the numbers. Must be. I I, I know this much. On that stage. For that hour and 49 minutes, I yep. saw about $900 worth of services. $887 I won't even, you won't subscribe, even think about. S- subscribe to. Right. And that's because <laughs> honorable mention I'm a subscriber to Apple Music. Well, they won't get me either. I don't, I, well, every time I, I use, the only Apple product I use for myself mm-hmm. is iTunes. And I still, okay. I still like iTunes for the way it handles podcasts to sync yes. on the phone. Yes. And uh, for downloading music. I right. feel like I, I, I pick and choose songs from here and there. Okay. Something I think I'm really going to like for years to come and want to do stuff with mixing and things like that. Mm-hmm. Buy a song. That's it. Hmm. iCloud, don't use it. iCloud, I use it indirectly. Okay. Not like, um, you know, it's, it's so funny because... I don't know if you still have a subscription to it, and if not, I, I'll get you the cards. Which? I still use their Cronus. Oh, so do I. Right. I still use it, so it's kind of like, uh, I really don't even need this. And Google. And Google. Synchronize phones from there. Right. So it's a tough situation. Um, I don't know. I was kind of left with this indifferent type of feeling after right. the event. Okay. Um, there were some parts of it. I, I kind of thought the... Uh, Jason Momoa uh, segment and the Oprah were the best. Mm-hmm. 
So give, give me the the quick rundown. What what besides the the Apple credit card, mm-hmm. um, new services or new hardware? Was any of that talked no. about? So this was just Apple fanfare. This this, this was them <coughs> having a, a town hall okay. without being able to release anything. Got it. Which to me made no sense. Right. Because if you're telling me this service won't be available to autumn. Then that's in your in the lineup and in the schedule with your releases that you normally right. do in the fall. Right. So this is fall. This is summer. Right. This is going to be winter. Um, oh, this service right here might be available in May. And you're like, okay, so what was the rush? So why? Right. What was the rush? Oh, and we're not going to release the wireless charging pad. Wireless charging pad. Come on. It did not meet their high standards, but it, mean, but it, but it's been done by Samsung <laughs> for we're talking five, six years know, now. Come on, I mean, come on. That's like you said, lack of innovation. Um, I don't know. The minute these phones became a thousand dollars, and and the subsidies more, went away, they were no longer subsidized yeah. through whatever programs you had. It was kind of like thumbs down. Yep. That's the price point. No, no, I'm not. I really don't want to pay a thousand dollars for a phone, but no, I think that's that's got to be your price point. If you get these twenty five hundred dollar folding phone off, uh, come on. But people will do it. People will do it. Why? Because they'll see celebrities with it, right? Not knowing that the celebrity is gifted, right, with that device. Right. That 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 device was in the gift bag when at pick your award ceremony, yes. along with everything else that they're wearing. True. I do want to mention, um, I saw a message about Facebook is finally putting restrictions on its live streaming privileges for specific users. So how do they, how do they pick the users? Well, I guess the groups that, you know, the pages and or accounts that spew hate. Uh, okay. I mean, that makes good sense. You know, but, uh, and maybe, I, I know this is a reaction to the, the shooting in New Zealand. Yes. I don't know enough. Was the was the shooter an active Facebook member beforehand? Well, I guess my guess my question is: All right, so are they going to put in restrictions on live stream privileges? Would this have made a difference in this? I don't think so. I don't think so. And the stuff we've been talking about for the last two years, and we really did talk about Mm -hmm. this stuff two years ago Mm -hmm. about. If, you know, when they said, hey, we're hiring 3,000 people. Right. Oh, yes, I remember that conversation. And so. we're like, there's 2.5 billion <laughs> accounts. What are 3,000 people one going to percent. do? One, excuse me, one-tenth of a percent. Yeah. Come on. To sit there and just scrape through messages as they're coming in. Right. And, oh, got that one. So, got that one. in theory, they were alerted, Facebook says they were alerted 12 minutes after the live stream ended wow. in New Zealand. Twelve minutes. That seems like a long time. And nine hundred the 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 video mm-hmm. itself was shared to by either nine hundred individual accounts mm-hmm. or you know I think it was larger than I that. Think, or within was, that first twelve minutes. Maybe. Yes. Yes. And then it was out of control. And then it was out of control. Yeah. Where, you know, someone sent me the actual video. Really? Yeah, I was like, what in the world is this? And I clicked on it, and it was, you know, it was hosted on a site that, you know, was outside of the U.S. Right, of course. So it was the the entire video. Wow. I'm like, oh, my goodness. You're just sitting there, and it's as gruesome as you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you look at some of these R-rated movies or Mm -hmm. some of these shows that are uh, TVMA. Mm -hmm. Just as bad. Worse. Worse worse so i don't know we always knock facebook and and i guess we'll continue to knock facebook we'll continue to because you know either even you know from this viewpoint with the live stream i could see them um in front of congress i don't think that would be fair i can see it i can see it as well yeah i don't think it would be fair just because yes like it's that many subscribers it's impossible to stay on top of every account. It's, it's now I would be you know I'd be curious just to you know all right so they caught it twelve minutes after the fact. Mm-hmm. When were they first notified? 
You know, because uh, until then, it's just another video that's going right. through servers. Right. We know how that goes. And unless there's algorithms to pick up noises or actions Violence. or movements right. or something like that, it's not going to get picked up. Right. How long was it between notification and reaction? Right. That's the important thing. That's the important thing. You know, if it was at 11 minutes and 50 seconds they were notified and twelve at, and at 12 minutes it was taken down, okay. Right. That's fine. I'm happy with that. That's great. Uh, but yeah, if it's another case that they knew about it, they were alerted right away, and twelve minutes it took them twelve minutes to respond to it. Mm, then you got to look at some processes and procedures. Yeah. But it's it's just a company that's just so big, a platform mm-hmm. that's so big. Um, Rich, I mean, in their defense, in their defense, you run into a situation, and I know we're getting ready to close out, but you run into a situation where you got to pull a video down, and people are sharing, right. and people are, are, are scraping the site, mm-hmm. and then repopulating the site. Mm-hmm. It's like a no-win situation. It's a no-win situation, exactly. You can you can stop the initial, right, and anything that's linked to it, right. But like you said, once someone has grabbed it, and for lack of better words, made it theirs, yes. Renamed it's not, it. It's not until it shows up again that it can be identified and pulled again. So instead of a 17-minute video, it's now become a 12-minute right, video. Right, exactly. It doesn't meet that criteria anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. A um, lot to do, a lot to cover. But, as always, good to do this live show with you. Yeah, it's good to be back. It's been a nice couple of weeks off. Next week is WrestleMania. Uh, uh, will you be at Nassau Coliseum? I will not. Uh, is there anything going to be at Nassau Coliseum? No, 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 no. It's, it's just going to be MetLife. Okay. And then leading up to it, it's going to be at Barclays Center. Ah, Like Barclays. the fanfare and all okay. of that type of stuff. So, but won't be there. We'll be watching it on TV. Yep. Um, other than that, what do you got going on this week? This week, nothing special. Work. <laughs> same here, same here. Best ways to get in contact with you? I am Late Night Rich. And I am the real Ted Hicks, and we are out. Everyone, thanks for listening. Have a great week. See you next time.